An unsettling discovery in a Tampa cemetery. Two bodies and a skull stolen from a mausoleum. Now police are trying to figure out who would do such a thing and why they would do it. The desecration happened at the Italian cemetery in East Tampa, and it was discovered yesterday. Jeff Patterson joining us now live from there with the story. Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Keith. This cemetery has been here since the 1890s. Some very prominent Tampa families are buried here. Well, sometime before yesterday, thieves did the unimaginable to a Tampa family. Somebody has to go to a lot of work first to even move these things. To move Angelo Spicola stood outside of his family's mausoleum in disbelief. Who would take bones out? Who would take bones out? This got to be crazy people. Inside were the remains of his relatives. My grandfather, grandmother, great-grandfather, and a, an aunt that we never knew. Sometime before Wednesday, thieves broke in, stealing two small caskets, the remains inside, and opened a third casket, removing some of the remains. This is coffin this is my grandmother's coffin. Obviously, for him, this is very personal. Oh, yeah, there's an anchor, but then there's also, uh, I feel a little remorse for people that go that low to do things like this. I mean, what can you gain out of this? Angelo's brother is former Tampa City Council member Charles Spicola. When I saw that, I just uh, shook my head and said there, there are people around that don't deserve to be on the same earth with most of us. And I would love to meet them anytime and any place. For him, the grave robbery has been devastating. I didn't expect it. I did not expect this desecration of a grave, desecration of human bodies. It's uh, beyond my comprehension. Yeah, the family that was here here established Spicola Hardware back in Ybor City. Uh, Charlie Spicola is also the founder of the Tampa Rough Riders. And full disclosure here, he's a friend of mine. He has a deep appreciation for history and family, and I know this is affecting him greatly, Keith. I'm sort of with him. It's hard to even imagine why someone would do so or something like this. Do police have any clue why? Do they think it's a, is some kids doing this? Or what's the thinking? They really don't know, Keith. Uh, the police don't even know exactly when this happened, but the Spicola family is offering a reward for the return of those caskets or any information that leads to the arrest of these thieves. Hopefully they'll get an answer soon. Thank you. Jeff Patterson, live in Tampa.